What's going on guys? It's Renjen and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, this is episode 10 of the series or a show, whatever you want to call it there. Um, but I want to talk about some object oriented programming. And today I don't want to get too in depth, but I want to kind of scratch the surface a little bit so we can kind of get a, a little bit of an understanding, kind of get the basics down, I guess, um, before we actually get into some in depth stuff. So with object-oriented programming, you start off with a class, right? And let's say, let's compare this a little bit. Let's say we're running a company, right? And let's say we're running Burger King, just a random thing. And of course we have our employees, right? So to define these employees and give them some attributes, um, we can just make a class, right? So type in class and then employee E class. All right, so we have our employee class, and that is the syntax for classes. Um, just class, and then name of class, which is all lowercase, and then followed by, and then followed by, same thing, uh, followed by class with an uppercase C, and then a colon. So there we go. We have our employee class, and here we can start just writing some attributes, and let's say their starting salary so we'll do SS for starting salary equals I don't even know what's minimum wage anymore 750 I don't know somewhere around seven bucks um, so that's their starting salary um, what else what else can we throw in this you know employee class I don't know we could say like what they wear their hat is like the BK hat right I don't know let's actually let's put some put some uh, quotes around that so, um, shirt, let's go, like, let's say they're wearing a polo, one of those little, uh, Burger King polo, um, pants, let's just say they're wearing black pants, right, and shoes, let's just say they're wearing black shoes, all right, so now we have our employee class, and right here, um, we have our starting salary, which is seven fifty. so their starting salary is $7.50, um, they're, the hat they're wearing is Burger King hat. Actually, I'll just put, no, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll leave it at Burger King hat, BK hat. Um, shirt, they're wearing a polo. Um, pants they're wearing are, the pants they are wearing are black, and their shoes, oh, I typed in shoes, what am I doing? It's black. Alright, they're wearing black shoes. So, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make our own employee, right? Actually, you know what, let's... No, I'll go over this later. What I was, you'll see what I was talking about. Um, so this is pretty much done. Our class here. And let's start to actually make our first employee. So let's take some random name. Uh, let's go John. John object. Right? So here we just have John. Right? Is the name of our object. And then capital O object. And this is kind of similar. Or well, it's completely similar to the class where you have name and then followed by I keep saying and then followed by but um, you have the name of the class followed by capital whatever it is so we have John object and we're gonna set it equal to an employee class right because we need to set it to a class with some empty parameters so now what I just did here is I created John object, so I created John in the computer, and I have him inherit traits from the employee class. So right here, everything here is what every single employee will have, and then I can do specific things with John, right? And I can, you know, kind of, I can give him a different salary, like I can do his starting salary, or, well, his salary will equal starting salary plus whatever he makes and I can give him a certain position like manager, cashier, you know, drive through, whatever and just to kinda, let's see, let's show you how you can call upon something here in our in our little database of traits we can go John object, just the name of our object dot ss which will be in dot starting salary Enter 7.5 or 7.50. Um, we can do it again. We go John dot object dot. Er, no, wait. What am I doing? John object. Sorry, I'm going crazy with my dots. Um, John object shoes. Right. What shoes is he wearing? He's wearing black shoes. So 
just want I, I kind of want you to get down here is the inheritance and how we have this employee class but we also have John and John inherits all of these things from the employee class and you know I can add certain things to John himself where I can go you know John has you know let's say dark hair or you know white skin or brown brown eyes something like that so there are a lot of things you can do there with classes and inheritance and it is an object you know what I mean John is an object that's why it's called object oriented programming and objects have attributes and things like that so um, I hope I could you know get down the basics for you um, I really hope this was kinda easy to understand I didn't I tried not to go too in depth but that is pretty much it for today's episode and I will see you guys later thanks for watching